Welcome to Ford Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix Ford and Lincoln vehicles right the first time. If you purchase replacement engines, knowing more about the core process and how Ford uses return cores will help you better understand the benefit and value of Ford replacement assemblies. Some customers choose to extend the service life of their vehicles by repowering, especially if the vehicle has expensive upfits used for work. When a vehicle needs to be repowered, the core return process is part of the purchase of a replacement new or remanufactured engine. The core is the building block for remanufacturing an engine or transmission component. It works like this. You order a new or remanufactured engine for your customer. When it arrives, you return the used core back to the selling dealership. The dealership then returns that core to Ford for a credit. There are important benefits of purchasing replacement components from Ford. First, when you purchase a Ford replacement engine or transmission, you're getting Ford engineering and design built to our exacting original equipment standards in every unit. Another important benefit is this, the no-risk return policy. It's a no-hassle guarantee of 100% core return credit, regardless of the condition of the return core. For independent repair facilities, it's an enormous competitive advantage because it means you can quote pricing with confidence. There won't be any surprises regarding a core charge. Some aftermarket manufacturers offer a hassle-free core policy, but they inspect for core damage and sometimes apply a chargeback amount to the customer, as high as 50%. Ford doesn't do that. We credit every returned core in full. Even though we credit every core, each returned core is thoroughly inspected for quality. And we scrap one of every three cores prior to remanufacturing into OE quality components. That helps ensure the quality of our remanufactured components. When you're returning a core for credit, you do want to meet our guidelines for a correct return. Here's what we're looking for. Return cores must be the same engine spec level or transmission type as the replacement part you purchased. For example, if you purchased a sealed long block engine, then you need to return a complete sealed long block core. It should include the cylinder heads and block, crankshaft, vibration damper, valve cover, oil filter adapter, and the oil pan. It needs to be 100% complete and assembled with all parts attached. And it needs to be drained of fluids. Shipping a core with oil or antifreeze is a safety hazard. Also, you need to ship it back in the original packaging. That means returning it in the same packaging that was used to ship your newly purchased replacement component to you. The replacement components usually arrive in protective dunnage or on a pallet. If it was shipped in dunnage, place the core return back in the same dunnage, rebag it, and strap it inside using the dunnage straps. If you received your new assembly on a pallet, make sure the assembly is properly cradled on the pallet before assembling. You also need to securely fasten the core to the pallet with banding material or with ratchet straps. The straps must be strong enough to handle the weight of the core. Fastening with rope, shrink wrap, or tape that's been affixed without a banding machine doesn't adhere to our guidelines and is not acceptable. One thing to note, make sure you've transferred all the ancillary parts needed to install the new replacement engine before shipping. For example, check that the dowel pins have been removed from the used core and reinstalled in the replacement engine block and also transfer all the shipping caps and plugs from the new replacement unit over to the core you're preparing to ship. Now you're ready to ship the used core back to be inspected and if it passes the test, to be remanufactured. The remanufacturing process begins with the complete disassembly of the return core. We clean and inspect and carefully measure all the parts. When necessary, we also recondition or remachine component parts. And if a part can't be brought into our precise Ford tolerance, we replace it with a new one. Unlike rebuilding, which restores a used or worn component to near new condition, the precise industrial remanufacturing process completely restores the engine or transmission to original equipment condition. Our remanufacturing process also features built-in error proofing that further contributes to the high quality of our products. Since only Ford has the proprietary knowledge of our engine specifications and precise tolerances, 
Only Ford remanufactured engines can truly achieve OE performance. Even better, a Ford remanufactured engine or transmission includes technology upgrades that were not available when the original assembly was built. Ford Engineering is continuously improving on the performance of our products. When we remanufacture an engine or transmission, it receives all the technology upgrades included on a new one. So when you purchase a remanufactured product from Ford, your customers are actually getting a component with more advanced technology and higher performance than the original. And you get a much stronger warranty for your customer too. On complete gas engine and transmission assemblies, that's three years of unlimited warranty with no commercial exceptions. For complete diesel engine assemblies, that means two years unlimited warranty with no commercial exceptions. Compare our warranties to aftermarket warranties for similar remanufactured components and you'll easily see Ford value. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of our series of installation and repair tips for Ford or Lincoln vehicles. For more information on Ford or Motorcraft parts, contact your Ford or Lincoln dealer or distributor or visit FordParts.com.